Welcome to the Proofpoint Essentials User Training by Quovatis. In this short video, we'll review how to manage your daily quarantine digest and how Proofpoint filters your email. Your quarantine digest will arrive shortly after 7 a.m. each day. This is my latest digest. Let me bring a few things to your attention. First, you've got two places where you can sign in to your Proofpoint account. We'll discuss why you may want to do so a little later. You can also request a new digest to be delivered in case the one you have is stale. And most important, we have the four actions you can take for each quarantined email. The first is preview. If you click that option, your default browser will open and display a safe preview of the message that's been quarantined. As you can see, none of the pictures will display without your intervention and some elements have been removed to keep you safe. I use this when I'm not sure if this is an email I was hoping to receive or just plain old spam. The second option is release. Pretty straightforward. Click that option and the email will appear in your inbox within a few minutes. If you just want to see what the email was about, I strongly encourage you to just preview it for safety's sake. This is what you'll see in your browser. Again, you have a button to log into Proofpoint. The third option is Release and Approve. Now, this is great. Clicking Release and Approve will do the same as Release, putting the email in your inbox, but it will also add the sender of the email to your safe sender list. Remember, every email is graded on its own content. That's why the title is Quarantined by Score. If you add the sender to your safe sender list, their emails will not be graded. They'll always be delivered. As you might expect, this will appear in your browser. That leaves our last option, block. Perhaps just as valuable as adding a sender to your safe sender list is blocking a sender. I recommend you attempt to unsubscribe from any unwanted email lists. If that doesn't work, it's a perfect time to add the sender to your block sender list. However, using block from your digest normally won't work because the message was already blocked. Let's take a look at the Proofpoint portal by signing into my account. Again, we have several links to sign in. When you click the option to log in, you'll be prompted for your email address. When you click sign in, you'll be prompted to log in with your Microsoft 365 credentials. If your browser is already signed into Microsoft 365, you won't even have to type your password. When you first log in, you'll be ready to search your mail log. Just click the search button to view the current log of quarantined messages. Notice that most of the items are classified as spam, but some may be blocked if you've added senders to your block sender list. Take note of the status field up at the top. Pull down the view to view the list. As you can see, messages can be in a variety of statuses. Also note that the default log view is of inbound mail. Proofpoint also scans your outbound messages to be sure you haven't been affected and begin sending spam out to your friends and family. By selecting one or more messages using the checkbox in front of each message, you can apply an action to them and you have complete control over your quarantined mail. The last point for me to review is the advanced search. Proofpoint's engine classifies all messages. First is for malware, both by viruses attached to a message, but also by sandboxing any links within the email. It's also looking for fraudulent messages. It does this by confirming your DMARC, DKIM, and SPF DNS records to ensure that the sender who is who they purport to be. This filter catches imposters, phishing messages, and spoofs. Finally, there's the standard scoring of each mail to catch spam, bulk email, and apply your safe and block sender lists. And you can filter the log any way you'd like to view it. Proofpoint Essentials has you protected while still giving you the control over your mail. Your inbound threats are categorized into spam, fraud, and malware, 
As you can see, in my world, nearly half of the emails sent to me are not clean. And we can further detail the attack vectors on your mailbox into spam, fraud, and malware. Thanks for watching. If you need any support, please reach out to the Covada Service Desk either by phone or by email.